is it, guys? The neural interface. That means I can destroy it. There must be something at the lab I can use. Can you believe it? This is the final episode of the Spider-Man main story. Again, we will come back and do the DLC later, but... Um... I actually already started filming Detroit to to Become Human, so I think we're going to get mostly, if not all the way through that one before we move on to the DLC for Spider-Man. Uh, I actually recently got a external hard drive donated to me by a friend, um, just because I mentioned I, I wanted one and he did it, but it's actually beneficial for this channel as well. Hello. Come here, i got to change this number. I must leave New York. I'm actually gonna miss you and your death troopers. Unfortunately, my agents will stay. Though I question our work, they do not. As our work continues to pay, I am sorry. So close to being good news. Indeed. <laughs> I will miss you and your bizarre witticism, Spider-Man. Until we meet again. What a strange, violent lady. So yeah, I actually have a few backed up um, games I want to play. I actually have them in a YouTube folder on my main HUD, but... Did the impossible talk. And now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own. I will say this about this game. The ending was such a big payoff. Like, it wasn't a um, lackluster ending for the build. I think that it was adequate for this game. Really emotional, really driven. Um, they did a great job with the, the ending of this game. Um, like I said, this or Red Dead was probably my favorite game of last year. Uh, I won't do a playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 on this channel unless you guys want me to. It's just a really long game with a lot of side missions, and it would take forever. But... And once again, we have live footage of Mayor Osborne being held captive on the roof of Oscorp Tower. You want me to beg? Not gonna happen! No, Norman, I want you to die. The world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. Oh! Oh! Tell them what you did. I never... Oh! Everything you have is built on lies! Lies! Ah! Oh! Uh. You stole my company, my ideas. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is, you were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. Sick burn. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto. And you always will be. It's a great suit reveal, too. So there's a weird cut here in a minute. Um, in the original raw footage, 
I paused to see, I think, if I could change costumes in this scene. I don't know why I did that. It made more sense, I'm sure, on the live commentary, but that was, again, almost a year ago, so I don't quite remember. It's actually right about here. So, <laughs> that's why that cut was there. That's that's really the only reason. Um, I believe, for the most part, the rest of this is pretty much unedited, minus editing out loading screens, so there's that. But this final fight is... Honestly, like, it looks harder than it is. And once you figure out his patterns, it's not nearly as bad. So, yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's not a bad fight at all. I honestly think the Martin Lee fight before this was harder. But it's a, fu it's a fun fight, though. It's probably the most fun I had in any fight in the game. Um, I still f I still think the Vulture Electro fight was my favorite, but... You're wasting my time! You're wasting my time! Uh, I'm sure I've made that joke before. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, I've had a lot of fun filming this series. Again, it's kind of a bummer I didn't get the live commentary, because I felt like it was probably better than the postcom. But, it wasn't worth losing the whole series over once I realized that there was no commentary on any of these. So... But Detroit uh, Become Human will actually be live comm, so... There's that. Like, man, if I could do this fight now, like, with how I, then I know the patterns and everything, this fight would be so much easier, and probably a lot faster, actually. Uh, realistically, for this fight, you just gotta use, like, the webs a lot, and throw things back at him a lot. Other than that, like, you're really not doing a whole lot of offense. A lot of it's attack and counter attack, or counter attack and you know, stick and move, which is, I mean, fair, because that's pretty much all the fights in this game are for Spider-Man. Uh, pick your spots, which is kind of true to the character, which is one of the things I actually like about the game. Um, but I typically have a pretty aggressive playstyle in games like this, so... And I'm not sure what I was trying to do here. Um, I think I was just trying to find an opportunity to throw one back at him. Not realizing that I just really kind of had to take a chance, like right there. People are dying. They need the anti serum now. I will cure the city after I bring down Osborne. One thing too I like about the story of this game is how Otto like. He has... Like, he's not necessarily doing the wrong thing, trying to take down Norman. He's just doing it the wrong way. And I always liked villains like that you can identify with. Because I never liked Otto, um... In the comics. Like, I, I never really was a big fan of him. Didn't really care for... Like, he was alright in Spider-Man 2. Uh, which is actually, ironically, I've heard of the Spider-Man movies, but not necessarily because of the villain... I just liked the story. Um, but, I mean, I didn't hate him in that movie, though, but this game really changed my entire opinion of the character. So I gotta give it props for that. Like, the whole, like, you know, he thinks he's doing the right thing, but he's, you know, not. Well, he's doing the right thing, but he's not doing it the right way. Same thing kind of with Martin Lee. Give me the anti-serum, and I promise Osborne will face charges! Liar! Just like Osborne! What happened to the man who wanted to help people? The weakling? The loser? He's gone! Uh, uh, uh. 
the, the only real, like, kind of plot issue, well, it's not even really a plot issue, it's just like a, a, a realism issue, which, you know, asking for realism in a comic book game. But, Otto has a degenerative, like, nerve disease, right? So, like, his body is failing him, so to speak. Yet, in this fight, he takes numerous direct hits from Peter to his actual body and keeps getting up. Like, taking it like he's completely okay. It just doesn't make sense to me. But, it's like my, it's like my only one nitpicky, glaring flaw about this fight is that there's no way Otto should be able to take a direct shot from Spider-Man to his body. Like, his actual body. This looks important. This is a pretty cool fight too, like this part of the fight on the side of the building. I really think this is more or less just like a, a glorified cutscene. This is a playable one, and I sucked at it at first. I was trying to figure out exactly what was supposed to happen. Like I kinda got it like pretty quick, but like I'm so used to using the webs that when they took them away from me, I was like, well, I keep trying to use them and I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> like, really, the whole point of this part is just dodge and punch Otto while they have their back and forth. So hard, man. This is this is like harder to watch than the Spider-Man getting pummeled by the Sinister Six scene. It's so emotional. It's great. Such good storytelling. You look tired, Parker. Not tired. Just hurt. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more. Oh, man. That's <laughs> great acting, too. Peter, 
I saw you as a son, I should have known you'd turn on me. Just like all the others. Turn. Turn. I've worshipped you. Your mom. Your conscience. Wanting to help others. The way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty. A responsibility. To use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it. We have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh, I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. We can fix it together. If you'll help me, do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. What a jerk. It's all any of us can. Uh, even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter! Peter! I'm not going to talk much for the next couple of minutes. Um, I'm going to let the game kind of play out because it, it's. I don't want to ruin it. Uh, but during the credits, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more. Viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. gonna be okay ma'am I've got the cure right here take off your mask I want to see my nephew you knew I've known for a while I never wanted you to worry I did and I am so proud of you and Ben would be too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do.
So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. In the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't gonna be ready for about a week, so I'm gonna be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know... You can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes. I mean, no, no. I don't. I'm not want to. But meaning, I, I, I do want to. But only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Alright guys, that is Spider-Man uh, for PS4. Uh, while we're talking about it, I think there's a mid credit scene, kind of like in the Marvel movies, but it's a really good game. And if you're watching this because you've never played it, or uh, if, you're pl if you're an Xbox player and just wanted to see a full playthrough of the game, um... It's, it's literally the best superhero game I've ever played, and I've played a lot of them. Ah, because I'm a huge nerd, so... Uh, this game was amazing, and I'm not even a huge Spider-Man guy. Like, I like Spider-Man, he's but he's not like even in my top five favorite superheroes, and, but this game made him higher up there. Like, I cannot describe how much fun this game was and how good it was just as a story so if, if you're a ps4 person and you just want to see a playthrough of this game and see what it was like and you've never played it sorry it got spoiled for you but seriously go play it yourself because especially the second half of the series once i came back from my like six month hiatus or however long it was i edited out a lot of the side stuff and just cut straight to the chase like this this series would probably have another 10, 15 episodes if I had actually recorded and didn't cut a lot of, like, the, the base attacks and all that other hoopla that I showed early on in the series. 
So, just do yourself a favor and, and play this game. And if you're on Xbox, I mean, this is another reason why it should be on PS4. I mean, I, I guess I can't stress that enough. I'm not knocking Xbox, but the PS4 is a better system. And I think, you know, I, I think in the future, the Switch will probably be the, the one to beat. Uh, if they keep going the route they're going, and I talked about this before with, with friends of mine, but th as far as the PS4, it's, it's the system right now to have. Like, everything that you... Every fandom you could have is on PS4, and other than the Halo series, which I'm not a huge fan of, in fact, I hate the Halo series, there's really nothing on Xbox that stands out over PS4. Um, it, it's just it's too good. It, it <laughs> really is. But uh, I am looking forward to the sequel. I have a lot of theories about the sequel, um, but I'm not going to spoil the post-credit scene here by by talking about that. I definitely think we're going to see Venom, but I don't think it's going to be Eddie Brock Venom, and it's actually one of the most exciting things about the sequel to me. And I also think that the second one could potentially have co-op. Uh, between Peter and Miles, uh, for various reasons. Uh, I also think it could possibly tie into the Avengers game coming out in, I think, next year. I think it's early next year, the one that was just announced at Steve, at, uh, E3. And, uh, yeah. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. I'm getting too nervous. Hey, alright, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. Alright. Hey, so Pete? Yeah? I, uh, kinda gotta talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um... Weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh. Uh... Well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you, I show no, you. No, 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 no. It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. All right, now we're going to fast forward to the credits. I do want to show the credits though for a couple reasons. Um, I think the people who uh, work in this game deserve all the props, so I'm probably going to show the credits for every game that I beat that has a credit roll like this. Also gives me a chance to talk for a couple minutes about the game. Um, that was one of the reasons though that I think that Miles Morales is going to be uh, playable in the next one, if not fully like co-op or he'll have his own missions where he's separate from Peter. Um, I, I also think that they might get a little bit uh, gutsy and have the death of Spider-Man in the next one so Miles can take over as Spider-Man full-time because I know that there's a lot of saturation in the Spider-Man market right now with uh, the, the MCU movies and Into the Spider-Verse and now this game. Uh, we're getting a lot of Marvel saturation, especially with Spider-Man, because he's so popular. I, I definitely think that they might try to endear to a new audience by having Miles be the new Spider-Man. Um, and just kind of like having Peter be like the old fan Spider-Man, kind of like uh, people like me. Um, but I mean, that's all speculation. It's just a theory that I have, and it, it might not make sense to anybody else, but it makes sense to me. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my theory. But... I definitely think that the next game will will set up Venom or have Venom in it. I definitely think that the Venom's going to be in the next game for sure. Um, I don't know that he'll be the main villain, though. Uh, there's a lot in this game that, that might have set up also Green Goblin. We might see a Green Goblin Venom team-up, which would be ridiculous. Uh... Or we could also see uh, Venom be po playable in the next one, too, possibly. Um, depending on what route they want to go with Venom, it's definitely a lot of speculation. So, 
Uh, and for, as far as I know, the second game hasn't even been announced. I don't think they made this game with the intention of there being... I mean, they, they made the game, I'm sure, with the intention of being a sequel, but I'm not sure they realized how big of a hit this game was going to be. Um, I'm sure they hoped for it, but it, I mean, it's just like at anything you'd create. Like, you know, you, you write something or you do something and you're like, man, like... I'm not expecting this to be huge, but, it, you know, if it is, I mean, that, that would be amazing. I mean, that's kind of how I am with this YouTube channel. Like, I don't, you know, I don't expect it to ever get big. I don't expect anyone to ever watch it but me and possibly my wife, and even she doesn't watch it. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, like, and I don't think that's any, you know, real knock against me from her. I think she just doesn't really watch YouTube. Like, it's just not a thing she does, and, and that's fine, and, you know, I have people that I know personally in real life who are subscribed to my channel, and I don't think they watch it. I think they just subscribe because, you know, I'm helping out a friend by subscribing, and, you know... But again, like, if this channel were to break out, I mean, that would be awesome. If it were to break out and be huge, that'd be even better. But I'm not expecting it to, because, I mean, if you expect... The, I'm kind of like, you know, expect the worst, hope for the best kind of person. So, yeah. But we're coming to the end of the credits here, so... The next series you see me post might possibly be Minecraft, but I doubt it. It almost set, but it'll probably most definitely be Detroit Become Human because I already filmed the first episode of that, and that'll hopefully be up sometime either later this week um, or weekend, or it'll be up um, tomorrow. So you guys have a good one, and I'll see you later. So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I didn't want to spoil the end credit scene. So, yeah. <laughs> Definitely Detroit Become Human will be next. Um, I did get the platinum for this game. We will be putting the DLC. I promise. Don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I will. There's so much stuff I want to do on this channel. And this is the starting series. I'm glad I did it. Super fun game. There you see the Spider-Man underwear. <laughs> Got you. Uh, it it was just it was fun, and uh, definitely looking forward to doing more series on this channel. And uh, yeah, I mean, there you go. There's there's Naked Spider Man, and uh, thought I'd end on a high note of some comedy for you. So all right, guys, we will see you in Detroit Become Human, and in Minecraft. And maybe a couple weeks, a new Madden series. So, like I said, there's a lot on the docket. Bloodborne, uh, Beyond Two Souls, a lot of games. So, stay tuned, guys. We'll see you later.